Hello! I'm gonna try a thing, and this may not turn out, but I'm gonna do it on camera. So, uh, yeah, I got a laminator for Christmas. It's on, it's making noise. If you hear something, that's probably what that is. Just be glad that you can't smell it, because it kind of smells a little bit, um, like, burning. Uh, but the instruction says that, that, that it is normal. So, uh, it's the Amazon brand, and it works pretty well. I tried it out, you can see I made these tabs. The problem is I cut the paper um, to be the same size as like the actual paper and so they stick out like a lot because of all of the edge that you have to cut around the edge. So it's sticking out. I'm not a huge fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out again, make some more, try to cut them a little bit narrower and also cut the paper smaller. So I'm going to start by just making three. Um, I'm, I'm going to sort of re organize, re reconfigure, rethink my whole plan. Um, I did a little bit of math here to sort of figure it out on my daily, so that's going to be here to the side. Um, I'm going to reconfigure my tabs since I can make them however I like. And I may as well. This cardstock, now cardstock might be a little bit too thick, uh, but we'll see. If there's only three tabs, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. This came from Joann's, um, and I like that it all is co color coordinating, so we can just have three, three of these different patterns in the same color. Let's give this a shot. Let's see, these ones are exactly the same the whole way, top, bottom, top, bottom. Um, I decide if I want the lighter side because this one has a gradient. Uh, I want it to be the lighter side or the darker side. I think maybe the lighter side. Okay. Okay. Cool. First I have to start by cutting. Um, my inserts, this is the Filofax pocket size. Um, the inserts are supposed to be in metric, but I did them uh, three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. So um, what I'm going to be trying to do is making it a sixteenth of an inch shorter on each side and then cut around that. So that means that they're going to be, I did this math, uh, let's see I have to do three and three eighths inches wide because I also have to give an extra quarter inch for the tab part. So three and to get this. It was a Christmas gift from my sister. She got me in the Secret Santa and uh, yeah, she knows me. See, so four and three quarters minus an eighth is four and five eighths. Uh, like this. I think I've mentioned before, though I don't know a model number or anything for this paper cutter. Um, but it's a Fiskars brand one that I guess I think I got at Joann's. Uh, four and five eighths. This is the tricky part is cutting the actual tab. Oh, I have to figure out what order I want these in. Do you want this one in front? That would be great. Yes, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so third of this, these three tabs are going to be for my monthly, weekly, daily. Um, so it's just going to be three tabs long. So each of those should be 
one and nine sixteenths inches. Okay, so one and nine sixteenths. And I'm, oh yes, I do have, okay, I'm gonna sort of lean over. Uh, there's a ruler on this side, so I have to line up this um, little handle guy with this side. And let me see what I'm doing. So the tabs are a quarter inch down. And then I can take this and subtract a quarter inch from, or two eighths of an inch from three and three eighths, right? Sort of, sort of line this up. What is it? One and nine sixteenths. There we go. Hey, hey, that's not too bad. Look at that, it's a tab. It's a tab. Okay. Now I have to do that twice on here. So one and nine sixteenths. The Illuminator keeps deciding it wants to go in. Alright. Uh, 1 and 9 sixteenths times 2 is. Uh, because that's just over 1 and a half, right? I'm doing math in my head on camera. So that's like 1 and a half plus a sixteenth. So that'd be 3 plus 2 sixteenths. 3 and an eighth. If any of you have ever made tabs before, like from scratch, uh, I would love to hear your strategies and stuff because, yeah, it's tricky. Mostly right now it's all this math. I just did this part, three and three eighths minus two eighths. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm also sleepy for some reason. Um, I mean, when I say for some reason, having a six month old baby is enough of a reason, I know. But I don't specifically have a memory of not getting a lot of sleep last night. Though, generally, I guess if I don't remember not getting sleep, it's probably because I'm sleep deprived. Uh -oh. Okay. Now the thing about this uh, with the lamination is that even if I don't do it perfectly, I'll still, like, it's not gonna have a notch in it because it'll be laminated. And the heat is making this paper curl. That's weird. Okay. Three and an eighth. See, you notice now why I'm doing the three tabs here instead of the six tabs that I want to try to do later. Yeah. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Good. that wrong. I cut off the wrong part. <laughs> okay, we're trying that again. <laughs> okay, four and I, I'm not going to edit any of this out. I'm not going to edit any of this out. You guys get to suffer along with me. Four and five eighths. So I'm like just realizing that this is the same. I, I, you know what? Probably, I'm making no sense. I'm making very little sense. Um, but I think this is a square. I don't know why that would be. Is there a reason for that or is it just nice? Right, because it's... 
I'm gonna do it this way. One and nine sixteenths. kind of going until I can see that they meet. There we go. Crap, I did the same thing again. <laughs> okay, okay, I need a new strip. <laughs> three and three eighths inches wide. So place your bets now as to whether this actually turns out looking at all decent. The, uh, I'll give you very good odds if you're removed from me. Uh, four and five eight. Okay. Now we want this section cut off. Okay, there we go. We have three tabs. Look at that, they look okay. As far as tabs go, right? I don't know, fine. Um, a little bit of overlap here. Is that something I care about? I kind of do and I don't know why. They're the same, oh, okay. I think it's just a matter of uh, rounding. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Tried to decide if I care enough to want to fix it. No, I'm gonna leave them. Okay, so now we laminate. Uh, yeah. We've got pouches. These are just, yeah, I got these. I mean, I, I got these on Amazon. My sister got these on Amazon. Um, the laminator itself comes with three three mil pouches, or five, a couple three mil pouches. Um, these are five mil pouches. Maybe I'm, I'm considering that there's a chance that this is too thick for the cardstock, but again, there's only three of them, and so hopefully it won't be too big of a deal. So we're just gonna lay these down. See if I fit this way. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just do these two like this. Okay. I'm gonna sort of line it up with my cutting mat here and sort of do them. Yeah, I'll do them at least straight. So that to make it easier to cut. You see. Okay. And because the laminator has been preheated and ready to go this whole time, there we go. Very gently, very gently we insert. Very gently. All right, uh, there we go. The moment of truth. So kind of holding it in place. Just sort of trying not to interfere. Okay. Look at that, it's plastic. 
it didn't not work. This is sort of rubbing against the edge here and I don't know if that's a problem. It's a little bit gathered. I suppose it wasn't entered exactly straight. It may or may not be a problem. We'll see. for a minute. Then I'm actually going to run it through a second time to try to get it a little bit closer. I don't know if that's something that's like terrible and like I never never do this because I didn't read the instructions. But I did it with one of these that was kind of cloudy and it seemed to work. It, it got the edges a little bit closer. So I'm going to just spend a minute throwing away some trash. Just a little bit of a shake, shake, shake. Turn myself about. So I didn't put anything on the back. I think it's thick enough as it is. Nice and cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it through a second time to get it really good and sealed. Again, if you know anything about laminators, feel free to correct me. Not. I mean, nah, it's verboten, but. This is like the trickiest part is getting the entire edge in at the same time. Sounds ready. This fade is so subtle that it kind of just looks like it's been left in the sun for too long. I got this paper when I was making um, my traveler's notebook inserts. If you look back at some of my really old videos from when I was in the um, personal size, this is in the era of the, um, this guy, the Outlander. see if the uh, the edges look closer than they were before. It's possible that using thicker paper also is not good for your, your edges being really tight. But okay, it's hot. I'm gonna turn it off. Get that out of the way. So this is the part. Last time I did them by hand with just a pair of scissors. It turned out fine. I rounded the corners, just sort of eyeballed it. Um, I don't know if you can see the plastic edges. Probably not. Um, but I have like a full eighth of an inch around each side. And here I'm hoping to cut that in half. To do a sixteenth of an inch on each side. One thing that is tricky about this is that the sixteenth inch markers are only at the very top. So I'm kind of eyeballing it. Like that. So that's not right. That's an eighth of an inch. Okay. Kind of eyeballing it. Good news is it cuts nice and easily. Uh, that edge actually looks pretty good. Would you describe that as a sixteenth of an inch? No, it's a little bit long, a little bit more than that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Doing these sides first because they are the uh, yeah. straight ones, straight, straight edges. Pieces 
of plastic. I'm really tempted to try to make a set that's just like clear. That basically is just this laminate, just empty laminate. <laughs> um, I would maybe throw like some glitter or something in there and just do it like that. But not like a shaker, just like laminated glitter. <laughs> okay. And cut this edge here. And then we have to figure this part out. Can <laughs> I just leave it like this? It'll look like a tab unless you look too close. Okay. I'm going to deliberately do this short if I can. Yeah, and then do the rest. Oh, I was gonna pull out scissors, but uh. Somewhere around here. I've got a craft knife. Let's do the craft knife. Let's see, you can't see what I'm doing. You're here for the audio commentary. on the punch on one side of it so I can't like center it between two marks I have to maybe I should just get take a sharpie to it and do that okay so I'm kind of eyeballing it doing just a little bit long because it's a little bit long okay good news the holes are all within the paper part so that's good and let's see here. This is my month divider currently. Now compare the size here. It's like massive and clunky and gone. Uh, yeah, see, look at that, like behind this guy. Uh, it's just like you can't even see it. So I'll just Get rid of that for right now. Alright. There we go. That's a tab. I want to start experimenting with um, rounded corners. I might grab a pair of scissors and round these. Um, at least just the tab part, if not the edges. Um, I might want to experiment with some rounded corners on the tab itself, but we'll see. But in any case, this looks much better than these. So I think we're making progress. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting the rest of these, but you guys have been darling and patient and I'm not gonna subject you to that right now. So thank you for joining me. Um, I will maybe post some more videos as I continue this journey of figuring out how to laminate things and use them in my planner. Um, if you have tips on lamination or on tab creation, um, I know that tab punches exist, but they're only seem, <laughs> when I say tab punches, there's like a tab punch that exists and it's got this weird like double tab thing and it's like huge and it's not, like what I'm looking for is uh, like this size like that uh, contrast. You can see what I'm talking about. 
I'm looking for that size tab punch. If you know that that exists, please send me a link because that would make this whole process much easier. But as it is, this is what I've got. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, okay? <laughs> Bye.